Hi, good morning. We have a opportunity to learn something. When we update this morning on this particular SSD, I get I get this Vivaldi stable failed, validity check failed, and have actually a lot to install. All these elements need to be installed, and everything fails due to just one package. Now, of course, you can uninstall this package um, and then later install it again. If that's at all possible since it gives us a validity check a problem but you can also um well first of all go to the internet and say to the developer hey could you please fix this so that's one thing you should do maybe as well i've done that already for you at this point in time so you start by typing and then the package is called vivaldi or vivaldi log in make an account and flag it out of date so that uh, black ike eagle knows that uh, as you can see here people saying same error about validation here too same same validate me some etc now on article linux we have something uh, special you know um, so Arco, let's see what google brings to the table article linux and then um validity check right validity check let's see if something comes out how to install a package by skipping the validity check okay sounds good then you scroll down and you say oh these guys have um, flags they use flags and a skip integrity with thrice and you can do it well and they even made an alias for it okay so is there an alias you just type alias and you see what was it again? Because sometimes we need it. It's not all the time that we need it. So yay skip is this long, long thing here. And basically we scroll up because we want to know what the name of the package is. And the name is Vivaldi, not Vivaldi snapshot. Don't think that's the issue. It's just the Vivaldi stable one, which is actually the Vivaldi one. All these things you have to know. And then you have this yay skip thingy or the Dryzen one. You have to choose what choose one of the AOR helpers and see what it does. Because in this instance, we trust Ike, right? Eagle stack. Um, okay, the cache needs to go. Corrupted cache. Okay, it's good that this happens. Where you go, you go to the Tunar File Manager or Nemo because I am now on my Sardi uh, Surfen ISO of uh, SSD builder. So you go to your home directory, to your cache, and here is the yay. You can completely delete the yay for whatever um, what's in there. So the, all the package builds, everything that he has ever downloaded and build, built is in there. So let's do it. Let's do um, this work. I recall I just did a control Z and that's why it was corrupted, right? So I said, I make a tutorial before I install it. As simple as that, you see, Vivaldi stable just installs compressing I have to point out that you only do this with things you trust people you trust in this case Vivaldi has been there for for ages right it's an RPM and the only difference is that the code that's inside the package build we can go into the details that the line 23 is probably wrong because there's a new version up and we need to update this this little, long little line here and then everything will just just be fine probably but i can investigate and spend a lot of time in it or i can say yay skip since i trust the source where it's coming from and now i have an up-to-date vivaldi which means i can go again and do an all time installation of all the rest so this one particular thing was bugging us we skipped the validation from it and then say, okay, now you do the rest. Okay, that's how we solve issues on our clinics.